Welcome today to Relax and Paint. I got up early this morning and um, ready to teach you a little fun lesson on a watercolor look. I love watercolor looks and I love uh, that you can do that easy with our multi-surface paint and some floating medium. So I want you to take a deep breath this morning. I put on makeup already. I got all ready for you guys and I want you to enjoy today's lesson and share it with your friends and make sure that you watch out for my YouTube lives. I love sharing this with you. So let's get started. We're using all multi-surface paints. Um, I want you to think about your goals for this is the first month of 2021 and we want to have positive, positive mind thoughts every morning. So I thought this was a great way to wake up your day and start thinking about what's your goal for this year? How would you like to improve this year? And I'm excited to be with you. So let's go to my overhead camera. Thank you for subscribing. Please share with your friends and any of the supplies I use today you can get on onestroke.com. And we list at onestroke.com. Be sure when you subscribe, you click the, the bell so that you get when I'm on live, okay? So let's get started. I'm just using a foam plate today and we're using all multi-surface paint, okay? So this is wicker white or titanium white. We got citrus green thicket. I put a little bit of dioxazine purple. And this one is perfect purple. I thought it was uh, violet pansy, either one. This is new. This is blue peacock. I like that. Till. And this is um, a really fun. This is a multi surface neon, which is called purple. Yellow daffodil and yellow ochre. All right, so today I'm going to use a lot of, um, I can use my angle brush. I'm going to use some flat brushes. All right, so these are my signature brushes, which have the lavender. I also have my everyday brushes, which are the one stroke uh, value pack. And this is a, a 16 flat and you buy that separately. And this is about $4. So you can get my signature set, which is my very best brushes. You can get my value pack, which has 10 of my most used brushes. So there you go. You ready? All right. So I want to do a couple of things here. I want to show you first, an angle brush helps you if you're a beginner to get those leaves really easy. So I wet my brush. I lay it in the paper towel, on the paper towel. And I'm going to use medium because I want some transparent little soft leaves in the background. All right. So I can get a little bit of teal and a little bit of green. And that's pretty dark, but it'll probably look good on this paper. I'm using scrapbooking paper today. This is one of my scrapbooking page papers I created years ago but um, it's spring now, so this is really nice. So I'm working this, I want you to see I'm working this out till it's very transparent because I want to do like shadow leaves, all right? So this is going to be up okay, and it's um, a watercolor effect, spring, I'm trying to get myself straight, a spring bouquet. So first thing I want to do is do this transparent look in the background, all right? So what I want to do on here is I'm going to touch that toe. There's the toe. There's the heel. I'm going to touch it to the stem, push down, and stand up. And these are going to, I keep going over here and getting medium and my paint every time I move away. And I'm going to get bigger, a little bit bigger, and transparent as I come away. So just you can see when I'm getting thin there, I need to go get some more. Now what this is going to do is going to give you a pretty background. So you have the gingham or whatever scrapbooking paper you want for the background. 
and then you have more background. These shadow leaves are for more background. So you can put the leaves first and pull a stem. Okay. It's a peaceful morning. Everybody in my house is still sleeping. So, so shadow leafing. Lots of medium. And see, I can get lighter and lighter. This one's a little too light. All right, so you can see when I didn't have enough, I just came back. All right, so then I can come over here. Let's put some more. I just want it to be an illusion in the background, but I have to keep putting medium in it so that it will stroke on here. You don't see that stem. I need to put that stem there. All right, so let's do a few more. Now this angle brush, all you do is push down and stand up, push down and stand up. All right, it makes it easy for you to paint. Something that might be difficult for you. Let's pull those down. So let's go real close and show you that. I want to touch my toe to the stem, push down really hard. And then all I do is stand up on the point, on the toe. So touch, push hard, and stand up on the toe. And that gives you the point of your leaf. Okay, so now let's come in here and let's get some of this teal. So I'm going to bring a teeny bit of white here, a little bit of white. I want this to be a little bit thicker, not quite transparent. Okay. Um, I used grays, medium grays in here before, but um, I'm on top of a pattern. When I'm on white, that's okay, but we're on top of a pattern. So, all right. So now I'm going to come here and Let's get a little bit more of this blue peacock in here with my medium. All right. I'm going to pull here. Now what I'm doing, these are skinny. I should have made that a little bit skinnier at the top. I keep coming over and picking up more paint. All right, this is relax and paint. I want you to just try this. We're using lots of medium. And as you go down the stem, these are going to get larger and larger. This is a, just a fun spring. This is perfect for greeting cards. Why don't you make a few greeting cards and share with us on Facebook? I would love to see that. Okay. And so this technique, I'm going to show you a lot of different techniques this year. This one's all about using floating medium to get an illusion of watercolor. All right, so sometimes you might want to come down and clean this back up. So, so far, I'm just using an angle brush because it makes it easy for you. All right, so I just have this one here. I'm going to come down. So can you see the paint's a little heavier on here? And it gets larger. They get larger as they come down. I kind of forgot that part. <laughs> there we go. All right. So this reminds me of those bags you buy at the shopping where you pay to get the reusable bags because it's printed in the background. It's got some fun looks here. Okay, so I guess I'm going to keep the same brush. All right, so I'm going to come right here and I'm going to mix a little bit because I don't want the citrus to be too, too bright. So I can add a little bit of white to it with a little bit of thicket. Okay, that's the look I'm going for right now. Okay, so I've got a full brush. 
And we're going to add other colors to this after it dries. So this stem is going to come right in here. All right, so I'm going to come and I'm going to push down really hard and I'm going to stand up. Now this is going to have all kinds of pretty colors added to it when it dries. So I'm pushing hard and getting a big full leaf. All right, these are skinnier, those are transparent. And these are just really fuller leaves. And I'm going to not worry about what it's stroking on top of. I just want that to peep through. But now this is going to be, have some other colors added to it. I'm not going to tell you all the colors because I might change my mind as we go. But this has to totally dry. So one, two to get it really big. So see, they were smaller at the top and then they got bigger as we went. Okay, so we're going to leave those. And I'm going to put some olives in here. So I'm going to come in here and get a little bit more with medium. Not transparent totally, okay? But I'm going to come right through here and I'm going to paint some olives in here. So we're going to come right across here. A little bit more white. And see how I'm going right over the leaves underneath? Don't even think what's underneath. That's what's going to be hard for you. <laughs> All right. Don't even think about it. Just stroke. This is an olive stem down here. Okay. So this is right in the middle. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little sprig of yellow back here. Are you with me this morning? Okay, I um, am going to get a smaller brush. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to put some uh, big blue leaves in here, but I want to skip around so there's room for the leaves. So one of the things I do is I'm going to put, say the stem's going to come right in here. All right, and I'm going to do these three spots of, you see those, one, two, three, and out here, there's one, two, three, and out here. Now, these are going to be blue and purple, but what's going to happen is I want this yellow to come out on both sides of it, so I'm coming over here. All right, so those are going to be my blue ones. And it's easier just to paint those on freehand and not draw, but not when I want to put, I want to put this cute little berries in here. All right, so I'm going to come up here. All right, so they're little ovals, like berries in here. I don't want it to be a point. I think what I did is I came down. That's what I did, coming down. All right. So I can put a few in here and then come back over here. And see, I'm missing where I drew those blue leaves because I don't want these to be under the blue leaf. I don't want to change the color because I want the blue to be a little transparent. So I pick up the yellow and yellow ochre, and these are going to have little stems that grab them. Okay. So what you can rewatch this a couple of times and stop and start after I teach you how to do each one, okay? So I'm gonna pull up some of this blue with some of the yellow ochre to get a darker look. That's a peacock blue, I'm just making it darker so I don't have to go get brown or anything. So these are going to 
have little stems. I'm going to go closer. I need to make that inky and then roll it. Okay, this is a two script liner. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys that was a six flat. Berries were a six flat. Of my Donna Dewberry one stroke brushes, green handle, we call them green handle brushes. And this is the inky mix I just made. All right, so all the way down. And these are going to be just worked all down through here. All right. So I think it makes it fun. Look how it's coming alive. Yeah. Just wait till you see us shade these. They're fun. All right. So I'm going to use a bigger brush. So remember I said the 16. So we'll do the 16 and let's get some pretty color here. All right. So I'm going to use this blue, the peacock blue. And I'm going to put work in some of this perfect purple or violet pansy. All right. And I might can even put a teeny bit of dioxazine purple on the peacock blue color. All right. So let's get close so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to come right where I drew these little leaves and come back down. So I'm going to cover all this. And come back down. I'm going to get fresh paint. So it is a little transparent, but it's, it's not heavy painted on color. See, this is more heavy. This is still one of the transparent colors. Can you see, you can see through it a little bit. I like to pull a stem up in it, but I don't know if it's going to show there. More medium and grab the two colors. So a little bit more paint. I'm pull this down. All right. So see, these are pretty easy. But look, I keep going right here. See that? And I got the purple on the outside. And the blue on the inside. Perfect purple here. All right, so I'm going to show you again how I do this. I'm going to wiggle a little bit up to the point, reverse the bristles, and come back down this way. So I covered that yellow a little bit. So let's do it again, wiggle to the point. And you can start back down here again and slide up. So I wiggled up and then wiggle back down and pull the stem. Okay. Okay. Look how pretty those shades are now. Okay, so that I have my triangle of color. I have this is kind of a blue tones a little bit, but I want you to see if I come in here with a 12 flat. Okay, I'm gonna come in now to some of these that are drier. Let's come over here to here. All right, so I'm going to take my medium and I'm going to grab a little bit of purple. 
toxicity in purple. Okay, so I can come right in here. All right, so that doesn't look very purple. So let's try the violet paint. The yeah, that's better. This is perfect purple. So we're shading it to get a little bit of the watercolor effect of adding a few colors into those leaves. Isn't that kind of fun? So I just use a lot of medium. This is a 12 flat. Okay, I need more medium. See, I'm getting heavy pasty paint. See, when you put medium, it makes it work nice for you. Okay. I can write, can you see me coming right next to it? So I'm coming right around here, stronger there. On here, I put a little bit of the purples. This is a little bit of perfect purple. We put it at the top. You see that? Just a little bit of shading. Okay. Okay, so here's a little bit, we can add, a, take a little bit of white and add a little bit of aqua. Okay, then I wash my brush because I just want to get little touches of it. So I'm going to come right here, get little touches of the aqua. See, it just it makes a really pretty color. See, that's that's that look we want. Look, it gets kind of yummy. I'm going to blend it in a little bit. <clears throat> See, so that's bringing some of the purples in here to there to there. Okay, a little bit more medium. You can see I put out a ton too much paint. See all this paint for watercolor? We don't need all that paint at all. So I need to go back and be more careful next time. Is that kind of fun? So it just gives you shading. Then I can come in here with this purple a little bit. This is like a neon. This is a neon. And it already has like a medium in it. You don't have to add anything. It's already like a gel. It's the neon colors. Pink and blue. We have all of these. Pink and blue, purple, orange. They're all neon and they just make your, your picture pop. So I can put a little bit in here of that neon. I can't wait to see what you guys do with yours. All right, let's put a little bit right in there. Are y'all liking that? Isn't that pretty? Okay, the last little thing I want to do, because I just thought it really added to it, is I'm going to get a little bit of thicket. And I'm going to come right in between here and do, that is not showing up. Maybe some citrus and thicket. I'm coming right in here. And I'm going to do these little stems for little berries that are going to be neon. And this is my two script liner. So I'm coming all in here. 
Look, I'm streaking this and the thicket and the citrus so that you can see it better. Oh, but you can't see it. There you are. So see, I'm doing these little stems. They're clusters that hold the berries. Okay, so look right down here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm getting all consumed into my painting. I'm not showing you. All right, so <clears throat> then I can take one of our daughters or we can take a sharpened pencil, which I don't see one. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I don't want... I don't want the end of the handle. You can see I dot it with the end of the handle, but I really want them small. I'm going to go ahead and do this, but you can use a stylus. Okay, so here we are, neon. Now watch. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. That worked out. See? All right, so they're little berries. Or they could be the little flowers that are popping out from in those blue leaves. All right. And this neon, there's no way to get that kind of color. You can't mix it with um, two colors together, together to get that. So I want you to see how wonderful these neon colors are. Like I said, orange, pink, I use pink a lot, blue. And this is the purple. I think there's a green, a bright, bright green. I use them a lot for Halloween, kids love them. I painted blue into bluebirds, you can't get that color anywhere. So there we are. How fun is that, huh? So I want you to sign it and share it. Sign and share your pieces. I'm making inky with a two strip liner. I'm going to sign my piece. And my name's easy, it's all downward strokes. Okay, so there we are. So look at your balance. You've got some blues that balance out here. Blue, so little tips there, there, and there. So you have your triangle design. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Until next week, don't forget Friday's class. Friday's practice strokes is waiting on you. Thank you.